Hey, so uh, kind of showing off some of our black guns here. We broke out all the different uh, new iterations for 2020. Uh, you just saw that uh, Bren 2 MS carbine. We we debuted it this morning. So it's a 5.56 piston-driven semi-auto gun. So uh, we've had it in pistol form. We've had two chamberings, three different barrel lengths in each of those chamberings. Um, we finally have a rifle. So uh, adjustable length of pull, folding stock, We've got a, a pretty heavy cold hammer forged 16 and a half inch barrel, a really effective muzzle brake. This gun is very, very smooth. So if you've ever shot an 805 Bren, which was the predecessor to this gun, uh, I think this thing might be just as smooth, if not smoother, which is saying something. So uh, carbon fiber reinforced lower, non-reciprocating charging handle, fully ambi components, um, just a really, really cool, not an AR. So. Um, kind of heading over to some different stuff. Um, in front there, the, this is a Scorpion S2 Micro. So it gets a little bit of a refresh this year. So it, some, some of the components change. One of the big things is people asked us to, uh, to equip it with that folding brace instead of the collapsible PDW brace. And so that sights and muzzle device changed for this year. So just a little bit of stuff, making it a little bit different. And then up here is something that we've been, man, we've been, we've been waiting for this sucker. We pull it off. Yeah, we've been waiting for this sucker uh, for a long time. We, we've been work, we worked on it a long time with Manicore Arms. Um, it's finally in production. So this is a kit. You take your Scorpion carbine and transform it into a bullpup. Uh, so it's uh, 400 bucks gets you the kit. You, you basically sit down and uh, and have a, a heck of a build session where you make it into this car, into this uh, uh, bullpup carbine. So. If you have an SBR Scorpion, you could also do that and then hide a suppressor inside this handguard. Uh, so yeah, um, something we've been excited about. Uh, it's kind of taken a little longer than we hoped to get to market, but they are out there now. Uh, and last but not least, we had to add a little bit of color to the table. So with this splash of red is the DWX. This is the full-size Dan Wesson DWX. So the whole, the whole thing of this is Dan Wesson makes very fine 1911s. Uh, we've taken the 1911 trigger system, so an incredibly nice single action trigger. We've added the CZ ergonomics, so a CZ grip, the CZ double stack mag capacity, so this is a 19 plus one in nine millimeter, and then a different style of barrel system, kind of like a P10 or a P09 where it doesn't have a bushing. Um, so we kind of took all those things, put them into one gun, uh, it makes for an incredible target gun. This, as a as a range plinker, or as for somebody who wants to shoot limited division in uh, USPSA, uh, this thing is going to dominate. Um, so where the Shadow Two does great in production, this thing is going to be amazing in limited. Uh, we do two different full size versions. We do a nine mil and a forty. We do two different compact versions, which has an aluminum frame and it uses a CZ75 compact mag, so it has a 15 plus one capacity, which is still amazing. Uh, and the two different compacts, you could get one with a rail, one without. So, uh, MSRP on all of them, uh, $17.99, which is a steal for this uh, this genre of gun. Um, hoping to have them roll out here soon. Uh, start on the left, our 1012. This is in our all-terrain series. So all the all-terrain guns, they get an OD green finish with walnut stocks. We get sling studs, extended chokes, except for the side-by-side, -side, we wouldn't want to blaspheme. And then uh, on all the brake open guns, they actually have a magnetic extractor ejector, uh, which allows you to load them and be a little safer in a duck blind, a goose pit. You don't have to tip the barrel down to get those shells into the gun. So uh, this 1012, we actually uh, set a world record this year using 1012s. Uh, Dave Miller, a shotgun product manager and four youth shooters, uh, shot a little over 14,000 clays in 12 hours. So uh, they set a new world record uh, using these inertia semi-autos. So uh, we're going to kind of slide down. Uh, we'll go for ultra modern. So this is our 457, which is our bolt action rimfire, uh, and it's the varmint precision chassis. So this is an aluminum chassis of our design, uh, basically taking that, that varmint barreled action and dropping it into that. Uh, you have an AR adjustable, you know, an AR style adjustable stock, an AR grip. Um, all the features that we really were looking forward to on the, uh, on the 457, like that push to fire safety. So a lot of little things that got changed to go to that 457 that makes it a uh, an incredible little rimfire platform. Um, up here with its super long barrel is the uh, 457 Jaguar. So this, uh, if, if people know our product line and they, they remember the Ultralux, 
This is a little bit different take on the Ultralux. So it has a 28 inch barrel, so super long barrel, nice iron sights. It's got that tangent rear sight that's adjustable for, for elevation. Um, you've got windage adjustment here. You also have some, uh, some fine tune adjustment on that elevation in that front sight so that you can actually hit where you're aiming if it's a 25 yard target, 50 yard target, whatever. So uh, it's, it's threaded, it's kind of a European standard, so we've left it kind of the way the Europeans would like it. So it's got a half by 20 thread on the muzzle. So between that 28 inch barrel and those threads, you put a can on there, that is a super, super quiet gun. So uh, we've got a lot of different long guns. Uh, we'll kind of change speed now and go with one of my favorites. This is actually the, uh, the Dan Wesson 1911 that I own. I own a, a Razorback like this. Um, so a lot of our Dan Wessons got a little bit of an update for 2020. Uh, we, we got away from the raised rib that we've been using for a number of years, and we have a really slick recessed rib. Um, some other little things, like this one gets a different front sight. We just kind of tuned up a lot of the different models in the Dan Wesson line. Uh, the, the Valor line is back. Uh, back and better than ever. So um, if you are a Dan Wesson fan, we have quite a few different models launching this year that all just get a little bit of more, you know, a little more refinement. So um, yeah, if you need any more information on any of these guns, head over to cz-usa.com. Uh, find us on social media at CZUSA Firearms.